Hi everyone, my name is Nadine, and you may have seen me from Netflix, Singles Inferno 2. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a student, or not anymore, I just graduated. I went to Harvard College, and I studied neuroscience, and I have a secondary in computer science. I would love a man who's loyal. <laughs> it's hard to ask for these days. <laughs> it's rough out here. You have to be a little tall. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty tall. I do like the whole like mysterious, cold, bad boy vibes, but that gets kind of old quick. So I like somebody who's very just. Do women like bad boys or lo or like nice men? Loving and has good, kind energy. I'm here to possibly find a match for the second time. <laughs> We can just go down the line. All right, uh, Nadine. Well, if I were to take you on a first date, I would take you to the mall. I love going to the mall, I'm not going to lie. And it's kind of cool because I get to see what your interests are. Terrible, so we terrible. go to different stores. We go get some food. I love Japanese food. I'm half Japanese myself. So like udon, ramen, sushi, that's the way to go. I would love to go to the beach, go on a walk. And uh, after that, not original. Want, get some sushi there. <laughs> I just love her once, the best sushi. I'd say the best first date would probably be like mini golf. It's pretty fun. I think it's very, like, it's a good space to be Mitch. sociable. And then there's also that little competitive edge that would make it kind of fun. I love mini golf. I think it could be fun because I am quite competitive. Griffith Park has like horseback riding. So I think we could uh, <laughs> go on a horseback ride. And uh, <laughs> afterwards, we could go for a drive on the uh, Mulholland Drive, because that's like the spot where you can overlook the city at night. Honestly, I would just take you to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can tell a lot about a person by like what they order. So if they get chicken nuggets, um, I think that's honestly a queen right there. <laughs> Big Mac, you're ba If you order a Big Mac, you're fat as shit. If you order nuggets, you're skinny. True or false? For my life. If your girl gets a Big Mac, bro, I'm just gonna think of her different. I feel like Nuggets is just queen activity. Basic, um, and then we could go to the playhouse, and then we could play hide and go seek. You guys know Angie used to eat the, when she used to get chicken nuggets, she used to literally eat all the skin, and then keep the chicken nugget in the, in the thing. Look. Like, she would eat all the, uh, what is it called? She wouldn't even eat the chicken. She would just eat the breading. Yeah. And I used to eat her pussy. I'm kidding. I'm not. I wish. I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, I love McDonald's, but... I don't know for a first date, and I would get a Big Mac, so... Oh, oh, oh. I was joking, it was... <laughs> we actually go to Wendy's? <laughs> I need to go to the gym today. Start out with... You know, you know, dining at a nice restaurant, right? And then, you know, finding a place to walk around, talk a little bit there, and maybe get some dessert. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we do for a first date, you know? And it just depends how it goes, how we vibe, and then move on to the second date. I would want to go to like a pottery class. That way, like, we can like have something to take home and remember the first date. I like the ceramics. I wanna go to pottery. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it will be really cute, and I think it's really thoughtful that you could, you know, make something together and it's like a yeah. memory. We can go to the beach, get some acai bowls, light up some candles, put on some mm. R&B. Might get up and maybe pressure you into doing a little salsa, you know, or Ooh. something like Because I'm dating to marry, so it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm not messing around no more. And I'm just looking for a wife instead of a little girl. No offense. Oh, to my mom, but um, right. I would definitely take you to a park um, and have a little picnic. I could definitely take pictures of you. Uh, so you can post it on Instagram. We can do a number of things depending on what you like. I can take you thrift shopping and we can pick each other's outfits out. Or we can go go-karting and then get dinner, maybe catch a movie. So it's really up to you. 
Four people. Four? Oh. I feel sick. Okay, I'm eliminating this dude for sure. Oh, or this one. Whatever the horseback riding was. Uh, but number two, because I don't really remember his answer. <laughs> you think he's going to be sexy or ugly? I'm going with... I'm going with in between. We got this, bro. Hi, uh, nice. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Ricardo. Oh, I'm yeah. Nadine. So sorry. That was more awkward than I thought. <laughs> oh god. Number three. I'm sorry. This dude is definitely ugly. Hi. Hi. Uh, he's not ugly, but. Nice to meet you. He looks way too young. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Bye. Number three again. The McDonald's. I mean, it was funny. No, he's definitely really good looking. But then I thought about it again, and it was not that funny, so... <laughs> hey, he's pretty hot. <laughs> we could have been something. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm, Nick. I'm Nadine. I'm gonna leave now. Okay. I like um, am I still streaming? I mean, I can end right the second. You want me to? Thank your jewelry. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Five. The reason why is because the little girl comment. What? Hi. Uh, oh shit. Oh, you're, so cute. Oh. you're tall. You're very nice cute to meet too. you. Oh. I love your nails, by the way. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> that was so rough. <laughs> like really rough. So I just graduated from Harvard College, and on the show there was like a campfire scene where I like reveal it, and it became like a funny moment in the show. Harvard, Harvard. Harvard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. 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 Oh.
really awkward. I think I'm like super awkward as well. Like same with my hands. Like I feel like I'm just doing random stuff. Um, I think the first person I will eliminate is two. Um, what? <laughs> I mean, that, I would have picked him and him. <gasps> At first, you know, he was very charming and kind of interesting this because is the, this is the dude who said he's intimidating. Let's see. Because he was very different and funny, but. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Nice I'm Nadine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, punchable face is not really the best. Yeah, you don't, have a, uh, you don't have a punchable face. Well, yeah, that. you have Thank a very you. nice face. Thank you. That's very I don't kind. know who would say that to you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> um, next is number four. I could feel how genuine what? he was. He's going to be good looking. But I'm not a super homebody person. I love exploring and going out. Hi. Hi. Oh my god, you're so cute. <laughs> Hi. Josh. You're my I actually like his style. <laughs> you're tall. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I would go gay. He actually doesn't look that bad. I'm wearing heels, but... It's okay. <laughs> Maybe he's not that ugly. Bye. He gives off a cool vibe. Similar reason, but number four. Yeah, sorry. It's the homebody. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so handsome. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very nice. Oh, I be yet. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I love you. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. you too good. Oh. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Kind of sad because <laughs> they're so hot, all of that. <laughs> First question I have What's your happiest childhood memory? My dad would take me to the park. Um, there's just no way this dude makes it to the end. This huge ramp, and my dad and I. Uh, he had a bike, and I was always in the passenger seat behind. And I know every time he would go down as fast as he could to terrify me, and I would be so scared that, Dad, no way, time out, time out, time out. Um, but, you know, he, he got me through every single time I never crashed, and as weird as it sounds, like, that's one of my biggest bonding moments with my father. I feel the same way about my mom. I want to be her. She's been such an inspiration. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even understand really what he said. Was that a yap you know, off right there? Grade, we would do this school field trip I know, zoned out. Arrowhead. So it's like my first time, you know, ever going out. For me, that was like like a whole new world to me. We got to try and all, like a lot of cool things. And yeah, it just that memory really stuck out to me. So when I was younger, I was very, or I still am, but I was very close to my grandma and great auntie. And when we'd go to church every Sunday, I was so attached to her that I would like hold on to the tail of her dress and I would like crinkle it. And I felt so bad now that I'm older, but I just didn't want to leave her side. And then like growing up, I would like cook with her, totally ruin some dishes. <laughs> Um, they were pretty gross, but now like that I'm older, like I've seen that's really important to like have a connection with your older relatives, especially because like they aren't getting any younger. Yeah, I'm super close to my grandma as well. She's like this tall. <laughs> She's so cute. All right. I mean, in Asian culture. What are your three greatest accomplishments and also what are three things you're trying to work on <laughs> within yourself? Wait, <laughs> what? Guy number one was rubbing his meat earlier in the vid. You can see his fingers in his pocket and there's a stain on his pants now. Are you like retarded? Every single time I never crash. And as weird as it sounds, like that's one of my biggest- What are you talking about? Why are we dick watching? My mom and sister. And the reason why I'm proud of it is because I went through a lot of hardship and yeah, it wasn't easy. <laughs> Second thing is definitely my determination, career-wise, but also with my friendships and relationships. The third one would be my sense of fashion. Dude, what um, are you guys I like spamming, to bro? play around with fashion. I have kind of a better sense of fashion. Do you guys think fashion is a big thing in a woman? No, really. I feel like you can't date a girl who doesn't know how to dress at least like decent. Thank you for asking. Whenever I consider dating someone, I, I tend to look at you know where they're at in life. Mm -hmm. um, so, where do you see yourself in five years? I would definitely be busy with dead at grad school, whether it be med school or. Right, come on. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the first person I would like to eliminate. There's no way number one wins. For round three is number one. Yeah. I loved all of his answers, but I think in terms of like. Tiki Taka ga yongoru boji. 
banter. I don't think it will match with me. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh my gosh, your hair is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. So <laughs> oh, thank go. you. Whoever you pick, muy bueno, muy oh, bueno. Oh, thank you. We're nice meeting you, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, too simpy. Oh, nice to meet you. So nice, though. He's so nice. Was that a wrong choice? It was so nice. I think the second elimination will be number three. What? Is this? Or sorry, number two. Oh. 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 Why? Oh. Did I do something? Yeah. Why? Good job, good job. His answers, again, were just definitely the most eloquent, but I think I'm very practical and logical. Maybe there will be a gap in terms of communication. <laughs> Hi, Hi, sorry. No, it's okay. You're it's so good. nice, yeah. amazing. Congrats on the graduating oh. Harvard and everything, so. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel about meeting your last guy? I don't know if he's excited to meet me, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, so whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and walk around the curtain. Hey, Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Dion. Nice to meet I'm you. Nadine. You look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. I love your my hair. hair yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little nervous, but well, don't be. I'm. Nice I'm to meet you, I was bro. nervous too. How do you feel being a winner? How do I feel? It's kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a, a blur, but I'm excited that you know she chose me. 